Okay, thank you, Jordan. Good morning once again, and welcome to Microsoft Customer Connect, adapting to the new next and beyond. So my name is Gigi Fabiliar, and I'm an AVP of WSI, and I manage Cebu and the Vow branches. So hello, our dear friends. I hope everyone is doing fine this Thursday morning. It's a bit a a bit cloudy here in Cebu City. Uh, Jordan, can I request for a poll sa atong mga guests? I'd just like to know kung asa sila gikan. So, Jordan, pwede ko magpa-poll? Ah, okay, sige. So, dear guests, pwede ko mag-request that you uh, answer ato ang mga ato ang poll. Uh, Tanaw na to kung naabay mga taga Eastern Visayas dire, mga waray-waray. Mga ilonggo ka ha from Western Visayas or ang kaning mga bisdak from Cebu. So patik na lang ko kung asa mo uh, from where you are from. Either from, are you from the Visayas or from the Mindanao? Sir Johnny, please ko patik sa ato ang koan. Paul, nakita ninyo ang Paul sa screen? Did you see the Paul yes. on the screen? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Sige, please daw ko, sir. Si Sir Jet Bolivar. Okay, sir, kabaw ko. Tagabisayas ka. <laughs> Sige, palihog ko na daw ko. Tanaw na to. Kung pila kabog tagabisayas o pila kabog tagamindanao. Naasa form, sir. Atong po, uh, ato ang ibalin, Jordan. Can we uh, move our form sa chat box? Na atay mga taga Iloilo. Na atay mga taga... Kagayan, mga taga Mindanao, mga taga Cebu. Ah, so si Jordan also included pagani kung asa mo na industry. Taga mga taga education, taga government, manufacturing, banking and finance, AEC. Oh wow. Okay, sige. So diri sa ato ang poll, 60% are from the Visayas. 39% taga Mindanao. So, mga taga Davao ni, taga Dumaguete, si Miss Dang, taga Kainta. Okay. Sa industry naman, naatay two from the academe, isa from the government, isa from the manufacturing, and mga five sa banking and finance. Ala, ang most kay wala na appeal ni Jordan. Sige lang, tanaw na to diri sa inyo ha chat box. Okay, mga SMBs. Thank you very much. Thank you Jordan sa inyo ha uh, pag-join sa poll na to. Thank you for joining us today because today we will help you get to know more about Windows 11 and Office 2021 for business. So, kabauta na, there are still a lot of SMBs na nagamit mga apps, deployed on outdated na mga operating systems, and maybe mga daan pa na mga hardware. So, now is an ideal time to refresh atong mga devices along with the operating system. So, by shifting to Windows 11 on modern hardware or mga bago na mga hardware, we surely can prepare our business for the future and ensure continuity. So, ang Windows 11 is the next evolution sa mga Windows and is designed for hybrid work. So, it enables employees to work, to be productive, bisan asa man sila, especially with the current uh, setups that we have. Natay mga work from home, naaratay mga skeletal workforce in the offices. And uh, Windows 11 also will help mga IT professionals simplify deployment and management. So in this session, we will help you why uh, Windows 11 is the best for hybrid working. Uh, we will also be sharing a short demonstration on Windows 11 and Office 2020 and the benefits of Office 21. Yes, we will do a short demonstration. So first look Nino, so Windows 11. But before we explore Windows 11, how Windows 11 help us in our businesses, please allow me to introduce Amuang Company WSI. Okay. 
So WordTech Systems Incorporated, that's the name of our company, our WSI. We've been in this business for uh, 39 years, and we are one of the pioneers and leading IT distributors here in the Philippines. So we are close to 40 years na ang amo ang uh, business. So we offer complete IT solutions across all industries. So na ami mga solutions for infrastructure, for design, for printing, imaging, uh, security and backup and communication. So we carry more than, or if not close to 40 uh, best uh, IT brands. So if you have any requirements in the future, uh, uh, our office actually is in, our main office is in Manila, but we have uh, branches in Cebu and Davao. So there is a Cebu, there is a pit sa my Tinago, sa downtown area. And then there is a Davao, na ami sa Agdao, sa Arcastillo, sa Agdao. So if you cannot visit us personally, especially at this time of pandemic, you may send any inquiries to our email address, sales at wsifield.com.ph. Okay. Jordan. So I'd like you also to visit our official website to know more about WSI and the solutions that we carry. So it's www.wordtext.com.ph. Okay. You can also visit our uh, social media accounts. So feel free to like, share, and follow. So you will know and be updated on the latest sa mga IT products and information. You will also get to know um, say among mga latest promos as well as mga uh, schedules of our different product webinars. Lastly, I'd like to introduce uh, W. Uh, we sell IT. This is the first uh, e-commerce site, IT e-commerce site in the Philippines from WSI. So we sell IT. We offer a wide range of hardware and, and software brands. So if you want to know more, you may reach us after this sem seminar, uh, after this webinar, sorry, or you may visit the site derecho at www.wesellit.ph. Okay, so that's a short introduction of WSI for you, my dear guests. So to help me welcome you all to this WSI and Microsoft event, please allow me to introduce to you the president of WordTech Systems Incorporated, Mr. Juan Chua. Sir? Good morning, everyone. Um, very, very happy. Uh, can you hear me, uh, Gigi? Am I coming across okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, again, um, good morning, everyone, and thank you for um, spending the time with us this morning. Um, we, I, I will make sure that we don't waste your time. Um, as you know, we're in a pandemic, so we couldn't do this face-to-face. -face. Unlike before, WSI used to have um, uh, some event in Cebu, in Visayas, and in Mindanao almost every other month. And we've been doing this for a long, long time. Our Cebu office is almost 30 years old, and our Dabao office is 20 plus years old as well. So we have been really considering uh, Visayas and Mindanao as an important base for us to promote, uh, to spread the gospel of IT. And we have been doing that for a long time, for almost 40 years. So um, I will not waste more time uh, without further ado let's go to the main topic so we can learn about all the new technologies that can help us uh, thrive in this hybrid uh, situation the pandemic is not going to go away in a few months i think we're going to live with it for a long long time so we must adopt our way of doing business using technology to continue to grow our business 
always remember that our uh, slogan is, it is our business to grow with you. Thank you very much and have a productive morning. Back to you, Gigi. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir, Juan. Okay, so if everyone is ready, let's, re let's get right on to our webinar proper. Okay, please allow me to introduce to you our guest speakers from Microsoft Partner Solution Sales for Southeast Asia. Uh, we have Ms. Dang Ibana, Local Channel Lead. We have uh, Ms. Sir Lorenzo Miranan, Commercial Master Trainer, and Mr. Enrique Bordeos, Channel Device Marketing Manager. And now to kick off the presentation, here is Ms. Dang to help us understand why Windows 11 is the best for hybrid working. Ms. Dang. Yahoo! Thank you so much, Ms. Gigi. Can you hear me all right? Yes. All right, that's good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Sir Juan. Thank, thank you for that good introduction. And by the way, before thanking, of course, WSI and our customers here in the call, I'd like to give some trivia. This is the first time, or this is the very first customer connect that we had featuring Windows 11 and Office 21. Wow. In fact, we have just finished our channel connect yesterday only yesterday it's really fresh from the oven so our vismin customers is really special with us and thank you worddex thank you so much wsi for really facilitating this connection with our customers so yes this is our very first sharing of windows 11 and office 2021 with our of course beloved customers thank you so much okay we are honored so, Mr. Yes, likewise. Okay, so today I would like to share some of the benefits Windows 11 is bringing to businesses as again, as mentioned by Miss Gigi, right? I will uh, later on discuss some customer benefits, probably answer some questions there. And I will ask some of my colleagues also who are in the call who can help me address your questions. Let's make this a call or session as interactive as possible. Utilize the chat box or probably if you know you like what I'm saying, just you know, put a thumbs up there or just unmute yourself and speak up. Okay, so anything under the sun. But let me try this first. Maayong buntag and maayong adlaw sa inyong lahat. Okay, so um, I, I, I'm sure, not just hoping that I will be having fun doing it, doing the presentation of Windows 11 to all of you. So let's talk about where we are today and where we're going next. We're always starting with this slide, the mission of Microsoft, right? Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. I guess it's a universal mission of every individual or in every organization, even in our personal or professional task, right? It's always our aim to achieve more, to do more, to do greater things, right? So, yeah, it's 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 just you know a protocol for for us in device partner solution sales that we start with this. So let's go on. Next slide, please. As I've mentioned, let's talk where we are today. Okay. So this is of course introducing Windows 11 hybrid work. Let's talk about hybrid work. Hybrid work is here to stay. As mentioned by Sir Juan, the pandemic. Hopefully not, uh, will not stay forever, but will stay in a longer time, I, I would assume, and we assume, right? In a recent survey, we found 73% of global workforce want flexible work options. I am curious, I guess, in with, of course, our uh, 50 or 70, uh, sorry, my math kills me. Okay, around 80 people here. Can you utilize the chat box? Okay, so if you have the option or the chance to choose whether you'd like to work from home or work in the office or, you know, stay hybrid or vice versa, or probably work in the office for two days, two, two days a week, or work, work from home three days a week, can you type one if you want to stay working from home? Type two, if you will still, if you want to go back to the office and then you know maintain that office space as you know your your working area. And then third, you'd like to have it hybrid. You'd like to probably spend uh, working at home. Let me see. 
what I'm getting. Okay, we see the variety, I guess. Um, okay, I can see some one, I can see some two. I can see that Francis said one and two, okay. And there's also three, okay. Yes, okay, I guess majority would want to have a hybrid remote work, right? So just like this presentation or this slide say at the same time, 67% say they want more in-person collaboration with their colleagues. Who misses that human connection, right? <laughs> Me, all right. In response to this, 80% of managers also say they expect more flexible work options to come into play post pandemic or after pandemic. This is the hybrid work paradox. Thank you for answering. So I, I guess majority or I think 80% of us in the call would love to you know, exercise hybrid work environment, right? Every one of us is feeling this tension already. I mean, yeah, it's always been what? More than a year already. I will always remember that March 18th is the start of lockdown when everyone was just, you know, uh, we were assuming I, wa I was one of the person who just assumed that it would just be probably for, for one month and then two months and then here we are. It's already more than a year, right? So every one of us is feeling this tension in some way, shape or form. Personally, for me, I feel more efficient, but it's so tiring right? uh, working at home. Um, but I also miss the creativity and uh, the connection that comes with actually being around other human beings. I'm a people person. I'm a touchy person. I love dealing with people, you know, face to face. I miss um, connecting and collaborating with person uh, face to face. So just to answer my own question, I, I would love it hybrid because I also enjoy the comforts of my home, you know, um, making it as my working space as well. Thank you for answering. Next slide, please, Jordan. Okay, this time it's actually uh, the hybrid or sorry, the commercial customer challenges, right? Um, people work differently, right? As you can see from the questions here or from the answers that you stated here, it's all different. Some said, uh, you know, uh, they wanted to stay uh, at home working. Then some said they would like to go back to the office. Some said, okay, would like it hybrid, right? And um, hybrid, in fact, presents different challenges for each of us, okay? IT needs an easy way to manage and deploy pieces to remote workers because, you know, there will be a lot of workers, remote workers, if we're talking about hybrid work environment. Remote workers are feeling the burden of having to work longer hours. Now that the traditional nine to five structure of a work day isn't as relevant. Show of hands. Sino pa ba dito yung nag nine to five na work? Okay. I know that, of course, we still need to foster work-life ba balance, right? But with the rate things going, where majority of us working from home, that nine to five work day thingy is no longer relevant. It's just my opinion, okay? Studies show also that cognitive overload is not only a threat to employees' well-being, but also a reason that workers are switching careers or seeking other opportunities. We've, we, we've been a witness to that, right? I mean, with, 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 with all the impact of this, right? Um, uh, there are a lot of things in terms of cognitive uh, aspect or perspective. Uh, it's actually already a threat to uh, uh, employees' well-being, right? We're all aware of how difficult it can be to also to effectively communicate when your team members are in different locations. If I may, probably I also had oh, I also attended a call yesterday, and um, and let me just share. Okay, this is actually an experience between my colleagues, right? So. We were three speakers, and one of our speakers also played a, diff a significant role there. And unfortunately, I guess in the QC area, you know, there was a sudden blackout. And we were like, oh, my God, okay, we cannot contact him and all. So uh, those things, uh, it might, we, we find it difficult, but, you know, those are things that really happens, right? It, it happens. Challenges happens, right? Uh, because... It's expected that team members, I can see some smiley face there. Team members are all in different locations. 
that's why businesses need flexible device options to fit different work styles and job functions wherever employees work from. Okay, wherever employees work from. If I may, in fact, I'm currently working in the common area inside our house, all right? So sometimes I just, you know, uh, if, if I'm really running out of time and I'm having late lunch, I will just bring my laptop in front of, you know, me having lunch. It's bad, honestly, because I guess we really need to find time to, you know, have some break, have really a decent lunch, even if we're inside the house. So just a piece of advice, if you're working inside the house, and you just really need to go down and, you know, probably a Shopee or a Grab or a La Lazada <laughs> came knocking at your door. You just tell them, have on a second, five minutes, you need to go down. Just uh, take a break and deep breath. One, two, three, and that's it. It's, it will actually help you out. Okay, going back. Keeping organizational data safe and secure has never been also more important or challenging, right? Uh, secure is the term for that, okay? As you know, being at Microsoft, we understand, or even in all organizations, we understand that your topmost priority is always security. These kind of challenges that we've presented are some of the reasons Windows 11 was built, okay? To improve the lives of the people we work with, however and wherever they work. Next slide, please. Let's see this. This year on the tail of growth, we will be entering a new era of hybrid working, learning and living with Windows 11. Over the years, Windows has been at the heart of cultural shifts. I'm sure many of us, when we created our first Word document, okay, no judgment. Okay, I will say my piece first. The very first time that I used a Word document was in 1995. Please, if you may, it's okay. Can you type in the chat box if you still remember the year you first used a, the, a Word document? It's okay. Just, you know, uh, just chat in there. So I'm sure many of us will still remember it. Or baka may nahihiyas When you've created your first Word document. Wow, 2000. Wow, 2003. Nahiya ako. Wow, all right. Okay. Wow, well, 2003, 1986, thank you, sir, yes, 1988, okay, I feel so belong already, okay, all right, okay, and then not just that, not just the first word document, but also connected to the internet, 1985, wow, connected to the internet with that old dial up for the first time we used the messaging app, if I remember it right, the sound was yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it's all familiar. Hindi ko lang masabi kung ano talaga yung sound na, di ba? It's, it's, it's actually exciting for me. Parang tipong, it's an experience for me just hearing it. It will definitely mean that I'll be able to connect with a friend or to connect with a coworker. You know, during that time in 1995, when I hear that dialogue, yeah, when I hear that, it, it gives it it gives me you know a warm in my heart because I will be able to you know to communicate with a friend in the U.S. that time I'll have the time to really compose my email and if I'm not mistaken my email back then was at hotmail.com anyway all right so chances are all these things happened uh, yes dial up used to buy internet cards but correct. Chances are these moments happen on Windows, right? Every major version of Windows was built with specific cultural shifts in mind, right? Windows has always been a reflection of its users, and it will continue as we navigate the new hybrid world together <laughs> with floppy disk, correct, floppy disk. The 1.44 and the bigger one, the 3.65, diba? I remember I used to, we used to bring that nung college. And then ito ha, hindi ako nagjo-joke. Uh, I studied in Pamantasi ng Sonang, Maynila. And there was only one classmate who has a desktop. Wala kami. Siyempre, medyo parang scholar. We're not rich and all. So isa lang yung ginagamit namin. So kapag meron kaming thesis, nagkwento eh, nag-thesis, we were bringing the desktop. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was actually, you know, carrying the, the tower and we were walking along path. Actually, papunta na siyang ano, path. Basta in front of Sen, uh, malapit sa Colegio de Santa Isabel yata. And then may parang manhole siya. Pero half lang naman siya, hindi siya talaga open. Yung parang uka lang. Guys, nadapa ako doon, nalusot ako doon. Tapos nakita siya ng isang buong bus. Tapos nakita na, oy talo ni babae. Oh my God, that was one of my most embarrassing moments. And I was carrying yung desktop, yung yung CPU yung mismo. And yung mga friends ko, na ang hawak lang nila yung 1.44 because probably my belt because, you know, ako yung nakikiru. Sila ang carry lang nila 1.44, pinagtatawal nila. Anyway, that was, you know, just my story about it. I will definitely remember that. So, Going back to Windows, Windows 11 represents another of these cultural shifts. Well, somehow, unfortunately, well, Windows 11 was built to, as a response to, you know, as we all know, pandemic, right? Um, uh, uh, because of the current or because of the, 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 the pandemic, it really drove to remote work, business continuity. That's why we really had to build this. This is actually as significant of a moment as introducing words more than that, right? It's more than a laptop form factors, the build of the, you know, laptop form factors, diba? Kumbaga parang nag-evolve siya, yung nagiging detachables. It's more than um, introdu the introduction of Wi-Fi on PCs, right? Often, these cultural shifts pass us by, but this time, we really get to punctuate this shift with Windows 11, which brings us the innovation and tools we need to adapt in this business situation. So welcome officially to Windows 11. And for the record, this is the first time, this is the very first uh, Customer Connect that we're doing it. Play the video, Jordan. Welcome to Windows 11. Yung wish ko lang sana may audio yung ating video. <laughs> Would you like to to rerun it again, Jordan? I don't hear any audio with our video. Do you hear it? Oh, there. Yes, and that's Windows 11 encapsulated in a very short video. And I love the comment of Sir Giovanni and Sir Nathan. Cool, nice, I like it. I really like it, not because I'm working with Microsoft, but, you know, did you feel it? The video, it's so calming. <laughs> it's so smooth. I really like it. I mean, the transition and the audio and the sound, it's, it's soothing. All right, next slide, please. So... Next slide. Okay, so as you can see here, let's talk about, let's dig deeper, all right? So Windows 11 is designed for hybrid work. 
there have been a few times in our shared human experience that we've had the opportunity to do things I miss that. I think we lost your audio. Yes, Miss Dang, we lost your audio. How about this? Um, Miss Dang, we can still um hear you, Pop. Yep, medyo mahina lang po Ms. Dang, but um, there is audio na po. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's what's happening. Okay, so I think the last... Hi, Dang, medyo mahina. Okay, uh, Lawrence, can you continue doing it and I will just have to redial in? Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Um, again, Maybe Lawrence um, can ano. Yeah. Good morning. So oh, while um, is yes, um, redialing in on um, the call. So we'd like just to um, highlight with this um, key messaging. Windows 11 is designed for your hybrid work. So previously uh, with Windows um, 10, we have this communication or we call it messaging pillars that we always highlight for every communication that we have like productivity, um, manageability, security, and choice. And um, in the demand right now and what in, in everything that has changed due to the trend and of course, um, with the current situation that we have with this remote work set up, we adapt and um, change this communication or pillars into this five, like productive, collaborative, consistent, secure, and choice. So what does this five pillars of messaging for Windows 11 means. So, and how can this, um, what are the features in each of these pillars that can help you be more productive and adapt on hybrid work? So let's go more in depth, one by one on each of the pillars. Can you go on the next slide, please, um, Jordan? First is um, productive. So, um, one of the top priority for Windows 11 is to offer the best user experience to our beloved customers. And kayo po yun. And there was this a survey which says like, we are at most productive when we are calm and in the flow. I think everyone would agree on this, diba? Mas mara parang Eric, no, right? Mas marami tayong nagagawa, eh, parang nakarelax tayo. And, um, Alam natin yung pasunod-sunod na gagawin. And um, so how did Windows 11 and Microsoft do that? So later, I'll be sharing with you a live demo on how simple diba? yung, the layout it is and how clean the layout of Windows um, 11. And um, there were new features that was introduced. And meron din po mga features na way back available na nung Vista time na nawala po nung Windows 7 and Windows 8. And binalik po uli ngayon on Windows 11. And some of that are snap layouts, widgets, which is later, um, mas, ma mas ma appreciate niyo po ito in terms when we do the live demo itself. And um, we always highlight like the best browser for Windows 11 is the Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge um, works uh, seamlessly, perfectly, if especially if you are using Microsoft 365. There were um, chances like um, you will only receive a link. But usually may mga events for some that were only using yung mga collaboration na, oi, Eric, Lawrence, ito yung link for the presentation today. Ito yung link for our um, Excel file. So usually the setup is if you click that link, it will open on your default browser. So we recommend to make Microsoft Edge your default browser, since Microsoft Edge itself, if you check the settings or you check each of its features, para na rin siyang may sariling system. 
it comes with its own um, protection. Plus, um, there were a lot of features that is built not just for work, for personal, and there is also like for um, education, especially po right now, perfect na perfect to. Yung tinatawag natin, di ba, yung hybrid learning o yung mga nag online class, yung mga kids po natin at home. And of course, in terms of productivity, Microsoft itself made um, and or to really ensure that the Windows 11 devices will comes with the best component right now, especially in terms of voice, touch, and um, the camera itself of the devices. And this one is very new. And um, for some Microsoft 365 users, you're familiar with this one, the automate workflows. So this is new on Windows 11. What does it do? So how many of us here po, like pag open ng laptop, pag open ng desktop, ito na yung normal na ginagawa, di ba? Press the, um, pag press ng power button, ito yung una kong i-open, Word, ito yung i-open ko yung edge ko na browser, ito yung i-open ko yung email. And for some salesperson, ito yung gagawin ko, i-open ko yung uh, um, mga, like for example, yung mga order forms, then I will transfer that to um, another file to make it one sing single file na lang, yung viewing, like in Word from to Excel. So parang ito yung mga repetitive na task. Diba? Now usually, this repetitive na task, we invest hours and hours to do it manually. Did you know po na meron ng kasama na free automation si Mar Windows 11? So how is the sample for that pre-automation? Like for example, sa mga so for our customers po na usually ito yung scenario nila day by, every day, they would receive like an order form. So usually yung order form, mga 10, 20 order forms in a day, and sinasubmit natin yan sa head office, that order form, bago natin submit, from Word document, kinoconvert natin yan lahat into an Excel file. Para single file na lang siya, di ba? Imagine getting all of that data name, company, order, details, quantity, one by one mo siya kita transfer. Did you know po na in just one click using automate workflows, you can do that in seconds. All right? So, I will post this. I will post this Thank first. you, Florence. Can perfect. you hear me? Okay, this is better, I guess. I'm actually using my mobile device instead because there's something wrong with the uh, my connection at work. So I'm using my mobile data. All right. So yeah, perfect. I've been actually uh, listening to your, uh, well, explanation or somehow uh, explanation in terms of the productive aspect of uh, Windows 11. If you can also, Lawrence, because we've preempted this, because ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence will be the one to showcase a live demo later on after my pitch, okay? But this is just to add to what Lawrence has shared. Lawrence, if you can probably answer the question in the chat box, I can see some, well, I guess we have one question over there so that you know, we can um, answer the questions in real time. But just to quickly also go back to this productive uh, uh, aspect of Windows 11, we all know that research tell us that we are most productive when we're calm and in the flow, right? So uh, that's one of the things I guess uh, uh, were considered, of course, by the, by the creators of Windows 11. Uh, for me, example, uh, Pardon me because I am really enjoying and used to sharing my own experience <laughs> because, uh, well, it's better for me because I can really re relate to this, right? I get my best work done when I'm focused. I guess every one of us, right? Sometimes I tend to turn off notifications, <laughs> especially those probably some things that would really, you know, take out or uh, take out my focus, right? And um, usually I'm full screen also on my application. With Windows 11, we wanted to make it even easier for you to find your flow and your calmness, right? In fact, how many windows do you usually have open during the busiest part of your day? Na mention nga ni, ni Lawrence kanina, right? In my experience, I guess how many for me? If let's say, of course, I'm working with Vertex, we're having this program or this plans or this presentation. I'm also doing internal presentation. I am also having a discussion with my colleagues. I can I cannot I cannot I can no longer count it. Okay. Windows 11 
improves the way you interact with these windows, right? How you organize them, snapping them to specific areas on the screen, grouping them together, and easily toggle back to those snap groups when you need them, right? For example, I tend to work on multiple applications at the same time, diba? like I've mentioned. I have Teams on one window, Word and PowerPoint on the other, right? One of my favorite features is how Windows 11 gives me suggestions on how to snap these applications in an arrangement based on my screen size and orientation. Again, of course, different employees, different devices, different work styles. I can even quickly answer an email and then switch back to the snap arrangement of applications without having to reorganize my screen. And later on, Lawrence will be able to do a live demo on that, right? Even better when, let's say, when I'm docked into an external monitor but need to change things up, Right now, I guess uh, it's only been a few months back when I use an external monitor because really it gives me, it's very convenient, right? Okay, and then when I get back to my external monitor and redock it, right, Windows 11 will remember my arrangement and will throw those applications back on the screen organized is the same in the same way as when I left them. So later on, you'll have a glimpse of a live demo how it is being done. Okay, next slide please, Jordan. Collaborative, okay. We've all spent a lot of time in online meetings lately. In fact, Yesterday, I think I had eight. <laughs> oh my God! What that was the that 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 was the 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 uh, parang largest number of meetings that I I did right since time immemorial, and I don't think it's it's going to change right. Hybrid work and learning means some of our teammates of or probably our uh, children's classmates will be online even as some return on site even you know if we go back to normal and some would probably go back to their offices, right? Windows 11 makes these shared experiences better. We've all had that. Remember, awkward, you're on mute or can you see my screen moment? And in fact, it just happened a few minutes ago when you told me you don't have audio. Oh my God, it's kind of awkward, but yeah, it happens, okay? With Windows 11, you can do more right from the taskbar so you have direct access to what you need and can stay focused on collaborating more effectively. This includes deeper integration between the Windows OS and collaboration and communication apps like Microsoft Teams. It's already integrated <laughs> to make it easier to do things like mute or unmute your mic or share an application directly from the desktop. And not just that, intelligent noise cancellation and blur background activity where it belongs in the background is also integrated. Windows 11 also has APIs for other communication vendors to provide the same capabilities as Teams, right? So it's kind of exciting. So that's from a collaborative perspective. Next slide. Next is, I guess, consistent, consistent. 2020 is really a rough year, tough year. But when the world shut down, we all know IT stepped up. Um, the digital transformation that we have been forecasting to happen probably in two to three years time happened, well, specifically for mid-market and enterprise market, happened about two to three months, right? It really stepped up. And we've worked 100 hours or the IT worked 100 hours so that we could work, work you know, or do, this, do the usual thing, the, the regular employees. I mean, the employees outside the IT staff, right? IT was at the heart of every decision we made when it came to how organizations deploy, support, and manage Windows 11. Windows 11 is built on the consistent, compatible, and familiar Windows 10 foundation so that IT can deploy and manage Windows 11 the same as they did with Windows 10. From an IT perspective, Moving to Windows 11 will feel more like an update, more than a major upgrade. It's more, again, I will repeat, it's more like an update than a major upgrade. 
while at the same time delivering all of the user experience and feature benefits designed to help people have a better hybrid work experience. We know that some of our customers, some of you guys have only recently finished your migration from Windows 7 to Windows 10. We know that, we feel that, we're aware of that. And we know that consistency is critical to our IT guys out there to keep organizations running smoothly, to ensure that IT's hard work and investment in Windows carries forward. All of the IT best practices our customers have adopted for Windows 10 apply to Windows 11 and that the move to Windows 11 fits right into the into the existing processes. The apps, deployment processes, management tools, and Windows license are all consistent from Windows 10 to Windows 11. This means that you'll use Windows Update for Business to move to Windows 11. I'm sure there will be questions about how to update, how to upgrade, right? Just fire it away, okay? Microsoft Endpoint Manager to manage Windows 11 so your policies and security baselines are applied. You can also provision new Windows 11 PCs with Windows Autopilot. And you have the option of putting a Windows 11 device into cloud config for curated and secure appoint needs. Making this really easy for customers starts with modern management in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And many of you, our customers, have taken, of course, the step to cloud attach their Windows PCs, but moving to full cloud management as a journey and one th that we can count on you, right? And of course, with our partner community to support. Next slide, please. Next slide would be secure. Windows 11, for the record, provides zero trust ready operating system to protect data and access across devices. It delivers maximum security while ensuring you stay productive without keeping a bit. Microsoft believes in a secure by design approach. We have a clear vision for how to protect our customers and to address current and future security threats with built in security. Okay. With Windows 11, we have partnered closely with our OEM and Silicon partners. So, you know, we're partnering with uh, uh, all the m and brands or the Silicon partners we have in no particular order. We're a partner of HP, of course, and then Dell, Lenovo, and the rest, Acer and Asus, okay? It's actually, we're partnering with them to increase the security baseline by requiring a security chip like the TPM 2.0. And I guess we also have some, if let's say you have a question about it, I guess we're ready to answer that, right, Lawrence, Eric? <laughs> and ensuring protections like hardware-based isolation, secure boot, and hypervisor code integrity are built in and are turned on by default to protect from malware and sophisticated attacks, right? So when paired with modern devices, as you will know, you're pretty much aware of how we're fostering or driving the modern device usage. And in fact, I guess in terms of the assortment, or if I may share, uh, based on the device shipment in the Philippines, we are already shipping around 90% all modern devices. So Philippine market is no longer a clunker market because I believe that, you know, Filipinos, we have already appreciated the benefits of, of a modern device, right? We are no longer, I guess, you know, pricing sensitive. I mean, price sensitive. Well, it's not because of some of the modern devices. They have um, already a uh, uh, within an acceptable price range, right? Okay. Okay. So going back, to what the pitch in pairing with modern device equipped with infrared cameras coming from a secure as security aspect as well and fingerprint readers you can log into your device simply by looking at your device or touching it with your finger i'm sure some of your majority of you also familiar with windows hello already so security has never been more important that's why we built the most secure Windows yet, which is Windows 11. And lastly, choice. Everyone loves having choices. Who doesn't want to have, you know, having choices? And people, again, work differently. 
people on different devices, different devices. And as I've mentioned, different work styles as well, right? I, I enjoy working from home, also working in the office with the people. Sometimes I also enjoy working alone. So we work differently. We use different devices and we have different work styles. The flexibility and choice that comes with the Windows device ecosystem will go a long way toward helping employees do their best work and of course, help employers retain them, right? We want to provide the flexibility for users to be equipped with devices that will suit their working style and productivity needs. And also we hear from business leaders and end users like you, how important this choice is for empowerment to get stuff done and feel like they're contributing to business outcomes. We have the very best ecosystem, the most innovative devices, of course, our modern devices running on cutting edge silicon and the hardware really comes to life when paired with the improvements we've made to the operating system, which is the Windows 11, especially input methods like touch, voice and pen. It's really an, it's inclusive, right? So given that this, I guess, my last slide, which is uh, the key takeaways of Windows 11. Before I turn you over back to Lawrence to for you to witness some live demo. I can also see that our chat box is so busy. Thank you so much for all your questions. Marami ko nakikita mga pang Miss Universe questions, but I'd really love that I, I, we can feel your interest and your passion and uh, really your love, if I may, uh, for Windows 11. Okay, so may I end my presentation for bringing in this key takeaways of Windows 11. Very important, Windows 11 is designed for hybrid work. Nagmamadali si Jordan, di pa ako tapos sa key takeaways ko, may lakad or may naghihintay na taxi. All right, okay, thank you so much, Jordan. Windows 11 is designed for hybrid work, powerful for employees, consistent for IT, and most importantly, secure for all. And it's everything you love about Windows, but reimagine for how business is done today. And we've made it easy for you to begin your Windows 11 journey. How? Join us. And let me turn you over to Lawrence. Take it away, Lawrence. Jordan, go. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Nang, for an awesome uh, sharing about why Windows 11 is best for hybrid. Let me just share my screen. And thank you, thank you so much. I really love the energy on the chat. Keep it um, coming. And let me open again the themes so that I can see some questions. There you go. So um, I think earlier we mentioned like um, we are at most productive when we are calm and in the flow. And the and the idea for Windows 11 is to offer the best experience. And how did Windows 11 going to do that or help, will help you stay in terms of focus in whatever you are doing, whether it were gaming, for work, or for personal use of your devices? Let me show you and share with everyone the Windows 11 desktop. So at first look, as you can see, this is now simpler, cleaner, and new fresh icons. So I opened a fi the file explorer. So as, uh, unlike before, like we, we're having different icons here. Now it has fresh new icons, very easy navigation in terms of um, the navigation panel. And on top, as you can see here, unlike before, majority na makikita po natin dito are text. Right now po, um, simple na mga button na siya. Very, very straightforward. And I really love this part. So on the file explorer itself, you have this option automatic if you want to create a new folder, new uh, files, or a uh, new application like um, Microsoft PowerPoint, Access Database. So you have this access on this file explorer itself. And the app itself, as you can see, rounded na po yung corners. And millennials, you're going to love this, meron na pong accent 
color. And that accent, and of course, it offers new fresh themes. And same experience when Windows um, 10, what? Just right click, go to personalize. You'll have all the options li like before to configure po if you want to change the themes, accent color, background, etc. on your Windows 11 PC. Right. So now let me share this part, the notification area. I do really love this. So, hindi na po med, unlike po before, di ba, parang ang daming mga naka-banner, ang daming naka-flag na lumalabas po on this notification area. Now, mas maliliit na yung text, mas organized na po yung notification here. Like, for Outlook, lahat magkakasama na yung sa Outlook. For Security Center, magkakasama na rin siya. And the taskbar itself. So, this is the taskbar. Centered na po yung start menu and mga applications. But I think, Meron pa rin uh, for some like uh, mas uh, well for some cases para ako din minsan mas gusto ko na hit start nito nasa gilid. So there is still a way para bumalik po doon just right click on the taskbar go on this um taskbar behavior and it's very easy. Select lang po if left or center. Then you'll have um the ability pa rin po to enjoy the Windows 10 on Oh, sorry, the Windows 10 taskbar po na looks. So let me just close it again. Next is the start menu. So if you are using Windows 10, pwede, nyo, pwede po nyo po akong sabayan side by side para makita nyo po kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng Windows 11 to Windows 10. So here is very simple. These are all the pin applications and these are the applications which is recommended by Windows 11 based on your usage. So meron tanong ni Sir Janos, from, uh, can we still move from the taskbar from left to right? Y yes, left and center lang po. Wala na pong right now on the current update. Wala pong update like to go on up, side, left. So yun na lang po yung option niya. Nag-stay na lang po siya here at the bottom or you can hide po the taskbar. Alright, so and if you still want to have a view like um, same on Windows um, 10, na alphabetical yung mga applications, you can still do that on Windows 11. Okay, so now let me go here on the search bar. This is a very powerful search button. I do love this and I use this a lot. So unlike before, pag meron akong gustong buksan na apps, dito ako pumupunta. Pero ngayon, dito na po ako madalas pumupunta on search bar. How powerful it is, like for example, if I want to search something like bit locker, I want to open my bit locker. There you go. It will give you all the results that is available on bit locker. Like if you have apps installed, if you have documents available containing bit locker or even web information about bit locker. So there you go, which sorry, wrong spelling. Yeah. All right. So, and another very features here is that if you navigate the mouse, your mouse on the search bar, it will bring you on the latest na mga application na, na inopen yung using the search button. So this one, I really really love this. Next is this desktop. Yeah. So I believe um, the scenario has always been like if you were a gamer, you want to configure your desktop like you are um you want it to personalize na gusto mo parang oy parang nandoon ako mismo sa game na yon kaya yung mga text yung mga background or even the themes itself minsan parang very color colorful right and if you want naman parang you want to have an inspiration or meron kang um, made after a very um parang uh, after uh, so much load na ginawa so you can have this um desktop like for your family and Going back again, this is my desktop for my work. So now it's very easy to switch from one desktop to another. And this is really perfect, of course. Siyempre, uh, minsan iniiwasan naman po natin na pag meron tayong mga customers, meron tayong mga client meetings, um, ayaw natin na meron mga information silang makikita or the background itself is not appropriate on that meeting. So maganda po here, the application itself, the inopen mo from one desktop will stay on that desktop unless you give them the you give the option like this will be available on all of your desktops. So ngayon mas easier na mag-switch like for example, after this, uh, after ng work, 
actually pag maglalaro na ako, pupunta na ako dito sa desktop ko for my gaming. Right, so going back here, another is widgets. So this is not a new Windows um, 11 feature. This is a can we have moving pics as wallpaper? Yes, you can still have po yung uh, mga feet, yung mga wallpaper and a screen saver like that. So you can still have that po uh, on um, Windows 11. So um, and going back here on the widgets. So this is available for first introduced during Vista. So what's really good about this is that um, if you want to have a first look in terms of the weather update in terms of news, so pwede mo siyang configure here, so just add widgets or um, and you can actually personalize this and hopefully in the future, mas marami pong na mga widgets na ma-add here on this um, area. So next is snap layouts. So what do we mean by um, snap layout? So there were cases like if you were using a single monitor, so, minsan po mangyayari, if you want to copy one information from the other, like for PowerPoint or from Excel, so mangyayari, gagawin natin, pinuposition mo siya ng maayos on your desktop, like this, di ba? And if you open an, an, another browser, gagawin natin is this one. So, mangyayari po, uh, para, ma para mahirap siya gawin, Eric, no? So, imagine with Windows 11, just hover the mouse po here on the minimize and restore button and you will have this options already paano mo siya gustong i-position like this yung ito yung gusto kong gawin kanina na medyo nahirapan ako ito yung setup ko ngayon and this one so i'll have this so it's very easy to set up po yung um application and position it all right so going back here so there's another um options like what if Lawrence, for example, there is a sudden notifications. So this feature is already available. Uh, uh, sorry, it's not yet available since I'm using po a beta or the demo um, version. So you can see here on the video. So after po my layout, my ready na siya, biglang all of a sudden meron notification, then accidentally na click yung notification and it opens, di ba, parang kinover niya lahat ng windows. So it's very easy to go back on your layout. So meron tayo tinatawag po ni smart groups. Just hover the mouse again on that application and you can easily go back on the layout po na naset niyo po. Here. All right. So next is this one. Voice typing. Press Windows H. Windows 11 is best for hybrid work. Sorry. Let me double check. All right. Windows 11 is best for hybrid work. Why is it is not working? Let me just run again. Okay. Windows 11 is best for hybrid work. I'm not sure why it's not working on this, but let me try on this another one. Pardon on that, since I'm using a beta channel, so there were some cases that I we are experiencing like uh, may mga bug or... You know, it's that awkward moment, right? <laughs> yeah. I, so Windows I 11 is best for hybrid work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it, it do happen a lot with me. Actually, there were times like um, biglang naglalag po and I cannot comment. So basically... What I'm using right now is the demo only. So this is not the available Windows 11. So, um, but basically these features, what I want to highlight is it comes with um, auto punctuation, which it can automatically um, add if ever meron siyang question mark na or meron dot or meron comma. Now, unlike before, when you have this voice launcher, automatic, sinusulat lang po niya lahat nung madetect niya. All right, so maybe I think it's on my driver itself. I'm really sorry on that, that I can't show you this one. But let me just try again one more time. Yep, 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 yep. If it will not be working, um, apologies on this. Please work, hopefully. 
Yeah, that's very awkward, Ms. Dang. I think I'm gusto ko nang i-mute yung uh, X yung uh, video ko. Yeah, yeah. apologies on this one. Ay, yung lupakainin mo ako. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, sir, it's um like, it's different from voice recognition since every application itself, meron siyang parang ganito. But uh, for this one, what it does is wala siyang mga punctuations. So I think it's on my microphone. Um, I'll get back to you later during my demo on Office on this one. I'll try to fix this. Yesterday, it worked on my actual demo. And um, anyway, so... Actually, uh, it's just to prove that this is the first time that we're doing this, right? So next time that we're doing this again with customers, um, Lawrence, make it work. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, Ms. Dang, I just did it. Earlier, I'm not sure why. Um, uh, maybe it's on my Chris. Anyway, so um, another thing is this one. So this is really perfect, especially if you are in the office. Then you are connecting your device um on an external monitor. Then all of a sudden, uh, or you have this, or you have this meeting on a huddle room. You have this meeting on uh on a meeting room, and tatanggalin mo yung laptop mo. So ang maganda po here is that um with Windows 11, madidetect niya yung previous na layout. So no need not to set up na this application on wind uh, monitor number two. So automatic ma detect siya when you connect back the device. All right. So another feature is we have this. Um, Eric, give me five minutes pa. So we have this um Microsoft Teams earlier. Ms. Dang mentioned in terms of collaboration. So Microsoft Teams is already integrated in terms of uh sorry in Windows 11 itself. And earlier, Ms. Dang mentioned like wala, yung mga awkward moment. Ito naman ibang awkward moment to Ms. Dang like, can you see my screen? Can you hear my audio? Or accidentally, di ba, minsan um, na, nakalimutan mong i-mute yourself and kasalita ka on the background. So lahat tayo iniiwasan nating mangyari yon. So we have this um, right now, like ang nag-show pa lang po sa channel, sa preview ko ng Insider is this button. But in the future, the idea for the general availability is that you have the control here when you press this universal mute and unmute. So meaning po, if you, I disable this, automatic my microphone will be disabled to all application na nagaran, na gumagamit po ng microphone. All right. So and um, another thing is in terms of security. So um, still security is one of the top priority for Microsoft itself and Windows 11 comes with built-in security protections, hardware isolations, and mga ransomware po na protection. So, you have the ability to configure this. So, meron pong um, virus and threat protections here. Meron account protection here and especially the Windows Hello. So, with Windows Hello itself, um, to gather the days, di ba, na marami tayo nire-remember ng mga password and when you log in, nila, nag type tayo ng mga 8, 9, 16 characters just to sign in on our devices. So now imagine po using just our biometric, our face, pwede na siyang gamitin po for login on your device um, itself using this Windows Hello. And another very good feature is dynamic lock. If you um, pair your devices with your um, mobile devices, so yung laptop mo nakapair sa Android device mo or uh, sa mobile phone at through Bluetooth. So mangyayari po, di ba minsan parang may mga break muna tayo. And misa na iwasan na, na, na iiwanan natin na yung PC natin is bukas. So malidetect ngayon ng PC na malayo na yung phone mo, um, automatic po na maglalak po yung device itself. Next is mga firewall protections and um, this one for the app. It also comes with an app protection. And for device security, ito yung na-mentioned earlier about TPM, secure boot. So you all of that can be found here under the device security. So um i think that's um for my last um demo so i'll now give the floor again to um eric to talk about office 2021 and please um, keep it coming you my question for on the chat box and i will answer it for on the chat box right thank you take it away eric all right hi guys good morning it's still morning hi uh, i hope everybody's doing okay and keeping safe Again, my name is Eric. I'm the Channel Device Marketing Manager for Microsoft. And let's wait for the slide to pop up. I'll close my camera right now because you know it, that my, my 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 internet my internet connection might might fluctuate. 
So I'll just anticipate it na rin, just in case. All right, so good, good morning, guys. Again, my name is Eric Bordeos. I'm the Channel Device Marketing Manager for Microsoft Philippines. And I'm here to discuss about Office. All right. So who's excited about Office 2021? At clap clap naman tayo dyan. Mag clap clap na ng, ng konti. Nice. Thank you for that one. All right. So I'll just make this very quick para hindi tayo mag overtime. So for Office 2021, we have positioned it with three main pillars. The first pillar is actually create with confidence. With Office 2021, customers can now create documents and presentations that engage people in new ways. Example features here would be the addition of ink and search in Outlook, enhanced ink effects like ink replay that lets you illustrate things step by step, animated GIFs, icons, and video stickers, so, yan po yung mga ibang updates. Some of the updates natin. Marami pang iba. Second pillar is track and organize effortlessly. So, easier tracking and, organ and organization with new tools and update features. Features such as dynamic arrays, X lookup, and while you were away, support this pillar. So, mas madali na po tayo mag-organize dito. Mas effortless and seamless na siya. The third one is work together seamlessly. This pillar is all about collaboration, allowing multiple people to work in the same document. Features such as co-authoring or at mentions assigned task. Here are examples of this pillar. Yung, yung at sign, pwede tayo mag-assign sa mga documents dyan para collaboration would be much more seamless. All right, next slide please. Okay, so with Office 2021, it is the essential to get it all. It is an essential tool to get it all done. So it's a one-time purchase for at home and work use and for one Windows or one PC or Mac. All right, so ganun po siya. One-time purchase for use for house and also for work for one device. All right, next slide. Our SKUs for Office 2021, we have the Office Home and Student 2021. This is actually more for home and student. So, But we also have Office Home and Business 2021, which has all the familiar apps that we love and we need, especially right now, and with all the upgrades. And we also have Office Professional with the familiar tools or the familiar apps that we're using, plus Publisher and Access. All right. Next slide. So Office Home and Business 2021 is the choice for you. If you want to keep things simple, you know, some businesses, they want to keep things simple. So this is the perfect um, office for you. If you prefer licensed software, you actually pay for apps that you actually use. And if you are in a regulated industry, if you want your software installed in your device and not on the cloud, so this is for you. Definitely, this is for you. And if, um, if this is the office for you, if you want uh, your office or this app or this tool to supplement your other apps. So to, this is more for collaboration. Office Home and Business 2021 is the choice for you. All right. And now, actually, that's just my last slide. I know everybody's excited to take a look at how Office 2021 is in action. Again, just to reiterate, this we're using the uh, the beta version. This is the this is not official yet, or this is not the final product yet. So there might be a little bugs, just like what happened earlier. But just to give you a brief background or a teaser of what you will see. Once we launch it already, I'm going to hand it over again to Lawrence to show you the live demo of the benefits of home and business 2021. Hi, Lawrence. Take it away. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Um, let me take over again the screen. There you go.
So, um, let me see. Eric, I probably I'll just um, do this for uh, two to three minutes just to give us five minutes more to answer some of the questions in the um, Q&A. But yeah, um, yeah, so there were a lot of features that will be available on Win uh, on Office 2021. Unfortunately, um, for some of that, we can share right now until it's generally available by October. And yeah, hey, that's actually next month now, Eric. No. So mm -hmm. some of the new features here is like um, this ink replay for Microsoft 365 users. These are this is not the new features for everyone. Sorry, this is not new features for you, but um, for Office uh, 20 Office on premise like Office uh, 2019, this will definitely be a new features, which is what we call the ink replay. So ink replay. So initially, usually when you are doing some presentation, so marami nakasulat dun sa presentation itself, right? So for you to run one by one, kung ano yung mga iterate nito, so just you can just have this um ink replay. Next is more icons, so na available. So no now no need to worry. Like if you want to insert more images, cut out people's stickers. So usually by your scenario, you go on the web, search for it. Then minsan ang challenge is how about the um copyright. Baka yung image na gagamitin ko, merong owner, kailangan ko pa magpaalam, etc. So for this one, these are all available na mga cutout people, stickers. So around 800 images that is available already on Office 2021. Next is um, X Lookup. Earlier, Eric mentioned about X Lookup. So um, gone are the days like if ever, di ba yung pag meron tayo mga Sino search using VLOOKUP and that uh, item na sino search natin ang lumalabas po is error. So now we have this um, new function. So let's say this is Lawrence. So with this new function, so just equals X lookup. Mas marami siyang res um, binibigay na result. Like for example, what is the lookup value that you want to find? And ano yung array? So before with VLOOKUP, ginagawa natin, sineselect natin to all. But for this one, dito ko siya gustong hanapin. And kung saan, ano yung gusto ko na return value. Uh, like for example, yung value ng, trans, uh, ng um, transportation. And next is, what if Lawrence is not available on that file? Diba? Ano yung ilalag ilalagay ko na, na sagot? Minsan nangyari po with VLOOKUP, parang asterisk NA yung lumalabas, right? So for this one, you can select like for example, uh, the word blank, pag wala, yung result, then you will have this option, exact match, exact match or the next smaller item. By default, it's exact match. And next is, where do you want to start the search? Kasi minsan nangyayari po, two items siya na parehas, from the top ba or from the bottom. So you will have that, ito yung default niya, then just select here, then okay. So as you can see, ito po yung result niya. And if ever I change this, for example, wala mismo si Lawrence dyan, Lorenzo yan. So, ang, nakala, ang lalabas na po dito, yung word na blank na nominate natin. Unlike po, if we look up, error yung lumalabas on that. And next is um, this blank template. So, this will be available if you click yung, um, sorry, yung account. There you go. Where is it? Under account. So, you will have this option like black. Gray, colorful, and like before, white lamp po for Office 2019. So, meron ka na here na black na option. And I think, Eric, that's for me for um Office um 2021. Okay, thank you, Microsoft team, Dang, Lawrence, and Eric. Uh, for your questions for the Microsoft team, please send it through our chat box on your screen and then we'll get back to it in a, in a while. In the meantime, let's move on to our presentation. So our team in WSI is here to help you choose the right uh, Microsoft program that suits your business. So to start, here is Ms. Vivian Serbano to discuss CSP subscription. Ms. V? Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. Maayong buntag sa tanan sa ating mga si Visayas and Mindanao audiences. So good morning. My name is Vivian Sarbano. So I'm the 
um, Product Specialist for Microsoft CSP Subscription. So this morning, I'll be discussing briefly about, briefly with you about CSP Subscription. Next slide, please. All right. Okay, so CSP designed to CSP is designed to provide you with a Microsoft Cloud subscription such as uh, Microsoft 365, uh, Enterprise Mobility Suite, Azure, and some of it are Dynamics Online. But it is more than just a licensing platform. So this means that CSP is more than uh, more than only a licensing solution. So among the products of the um, Microsoft CSP are, uh, ayan, as you can see, Microsoft 365, um, Dynamics, Exchange on Online. So some of you might heard about it or baka some of you are using M365 na ganyan. So these are some of which and also um, we have this Azure, ang ating cloud uh, hosting services ni Microsoft. So if you have any, um, um, if, you'd like, if you'd like to do a um, product um, meeting uh, with these products or ano, let, let us know lang po. All right. So next slide, please. Okay, so Microsoft subscription can be acquired um, by this customer segment. So it can be acquired by a corporate, um, education, government institution, and also nonprofit and charity organization. So these are among the products na, that can acquire uh, subscription licenses. Next slide, please. All right. So um, just to show you um, how to buy um, CSP subscription over other um, uh, Microsoft programs, so I'll be discussing uh, through this slide. So CSP can be acquired through a direct, uh, indirect partner. So um, they are what we call resellers. So si sa resellers po ang acquisition nito. So um, for any cons uh, any uh, requirements, you can go through your um, preferred partner or preferred resellers. So on provisioning, it can be done with a at least maximum of four hours. So this is provided that all documents has been submitted um, submitted to to us. Kasi kami yung nagpre-provision and all the agreements has been accepted by um, the end users as well. So uh, you just need to provide your company details and also yung mga domain, ganyan. So um, your reseller will contact you on what the what are the requirements that you will need to um, submit to them. And then we can load um, the subscription. And it's just a matter of five minutes nga lang minsan and it's all done. We, you'll receive a notification that you can already use your subscription. Okay. Um, in terms of um, agreement, um, subscription is on an annual commitment. So meaning subscription will be um, for the whole year, but you have the option to pay it either on a monthly basis or an annual uh, monthly basis or an annual payment or upfront payment. Okay, um, initial order can be acquired just with just one licenses, one license only. So um, if you want to try yung Office 365, you can start ng one subscription lang. So yun, hindi ganun kalaki po yung uh, minimum requirement for the subscription licenses or the CSP subscription, right? Uh, we have a local support that can address your concern if you have. So um, CWSI, we have 8 by 5 phone call and email support. So anything that concerns your subscription, we have um, local support na naka-standby. You just need to send a, a support request to our um, email. Okay, so on uh, flexibility on the additional of the license. So anytime you can add subscription and the price for the additional is uh, always priced at prorated. Um, it's always priced at prorated and it is aligned to your anniversary order. Okay, and on the flexibility of the licensing, in subscription, you only pay what you use. So as mentioned, or as I've mentioned earlier, your subscription on your sub, any additional uh, subscription will be priced at pro, price at prorated. So parang ano lang siya, parang um it is always aligned to the, the the renewal date and it it will be it will compute yung number of the days that you will use until your um renewal date lang. So later on I'll discuss um kung paano yung pricing niya. Okay? And on the software assurance as some of you might um, lo are looking for the software assurance and the benefits of it. So when you acquire subscriptions, uh, Microsoft subscription, 
your software assurance is always active. So meaning um, any update on the licenses um, na magkaroon, um, whenever there is an up, uh, update on the license, you can upgrade or update anytime without any cost. So yeah, that's how to buy um, CSP subscription. Next slide, please, Jordan. Okay. So I was mentioning, ayan, so I was mentioning earlier that on the pricing of um, subscription, it can I either be on an annual or monthly on initial purchase. So you you can choose between that on your initial purchase pa lang. If you decided to go for it on an annual, okay lang po yun. But if you wanted it to do on a monthly, it's okay then. Kasi sometimes you have these customers or end users na medyo yung, syempre yung run rate nung, um, yung run rate nung um, turnaround, sorry, turnaround rather ng employee is mabilis or you're using the, yung employee na i-appoint mo, appoint mo is, um, will be on project base lang. So, kunyari, the, the employee will be there for like three months lang or six months lang. So, nakakahinayang naman if you'll pay for or you'll buy annual um, subscriptions for that. So, you can buy monthly subscription for those employee na parang project-based lang para you're not paying for the whole annual subscription. But instead, you're just paying for the monthly subscription and then you pay until such time na um, ginagamit lang nila yung lisensya. So, if they decided, if yung tapos na yung project, you can suspend the subscription na. So, yun yung flexibility natin kapag monthly yung um, bibilihin natin. On the other side naman, if it's going to be an annual subscription, of course, additional licenses will be priced at prorated price. So, what is prorated price ba? So, prorated billing means simply uh, um, your bill or invoice is calculated based on the cost uh, per day until the anniversary or renewal date. Kasi nga, excuse me, nakasubscription tayo. So, um, this is just a very brief introduction or um, sharing of my what is CSP subscription to you. If you have any questions on this, um, you may um, send me an email. These are my contact details. Please send me an email if you want to discuss more on the subscription. So these are my contact details. Um, please um, send or send me an email or um, contact me. Okay, so that ends my presentation. I'd like to turn you over to Sam to discuss um, updates and changes on uh, Microsoft on-premise license. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. V, for the intro. Okay, so maayong buntag sa tadaan. Actually, Marag hapit na maayong udto na siguro ang applicable sa ato aran. Anyway, so maayong buntag or maayong udto sa tanan. I was about to say mga higala pero basig may nung mga feeling close na kaaya ko. So I'll try to squeeze in all relevant information that you need to know in five minutes. Okay, kasi yun lang yung binigay sa amin na time. Uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will squeeze in the relevant information because it's, it is your prerogative to know on your updates on Microsoft Open License and CSP Perpetual License. Okay, so may nakita ko kanina sa chat box. Actually, mukhang may requirements sir on Perpetual License. Sir, this is the right time na po. It's your ano na. <laughs> okay, so, but before that, I want to see a raise of your virtual hands po or heart react siguro if you're familiar or existing user po ng Microsoft Open License, Volume License, or Paper License. Iba-iba yung terms, pero isa lang po yan. Meron ba familiar or gumagamit na sir ng um, Volume License or Paper License? Okay, so it seems naman na meron. And thank you so much guys for participating. Since may familiar or gumagamit na ng open license, I think this is the right event to announce the Cloud Solutions Provider Program Evolution and open license uh, changes. Okay, so Jordan, next slide, please. Okay, so Microsoft launched a software license in CSP last 2018. Okay, so when we say software licenses, these are perpetual license offering through cloud solutions provider program or CSP. So earlier, I uh, discussed the MSV yung subscription offering ng CSP. This time I'll discuss the perpetual offering under CSP naman. All right. So next, open license program changes. So last year, 
Microsoft has officially announced the sunset of open license program by end of this year. Okay, so you heard it right. Uh, last day of transacting OLP orders would be on December 31, 2021. So this is parang end of this year na lang. Okay, so next is transition customers. Okay, so by January 2022, you can no longer transact OLP. Therefore, OLP requirements will be transitioned to CSP or Cloud Solution Provider Program Perpetual Licenses. All right, next Jordan, please. Okay, so by ending the availability of open license, it now creates the opportunity to move you, our customers, into the new commerce for better experience, paving your way to the cloud. So these are the advantage, advantages or improvements in CSP. Okay, so for CSP, faster time to value the solutions from Microsoft and partners to, to you, our customers. Okay, so through CSP, ordering lead time is shortened na po. We can provision your license, as mentioned kanina ni Ms. Vivian, since nasa isang platform kami, we can provision your license within uh, four hours. Okay, so whereas OLP before, actually meron pa rin naman OLP orders sa ngayon, it will take us five to seven days to deliver your license. Okay, so uh, depende pa yun sa, sa arrangement nyo with your uh, preferred resellers. Okay, so in CSP, it increased flexibility without compromising the control. Okay, so alam mo naman natin, na, natuwa nga kanya na dun sa kwento ni Ms. Dang, parang nakita niya yung evolution talaga ng, ano, <laughs> ng technology. No? So since very ano na ta, kumbaga, digital, digital transformation na tayo, so dapat sumasabay tayo, flexible tayo sa mga ganong ano, pagbabago. Alright? So of course, in CSP, uh, it optimizes cost and unlock new savings and for better customer experience for managing your license through Microsoft Admin Center. Okay, so may mga questions dyan yung mga naka-open license, may VLC portal sa OLP, sa CSP, we call it Microsoft Admin Center. All right? So oh, if you guys have question or further questions since very ano masyado lang uh, limited yung time natin later I'll share with you my contact details para if you have uh, further clarification or gusto niyo gusto niyo upuan natin yan we'll set a meeting with you separately pa. Okay so next slide Jordan please. Okay so introducing the perpetual software licenses in CSP or in short uh, CSP perpetual para mas maiksi lang siya. Okay, so by adding software license uh, or CSP perpetual, it expands the offering on the CSP program. Okay, so why? So these are actually the what, why, who, and when. So why, of course, to drive you, our customers, on cloud transformation. Actually, ito yung pinaka main objective namin of doing this now. Okay, so sino ba ang ano ang cover na tong transformation na to or transition na to? Of course, lahat ng partners and customers. And of course, yung mga existing na mga OLP uh, customers. Okay, so when as mentioned, kanina whether you like it or yes, okay, so you can no longer transact OLP. Uh, instead, uh, you start transacting with CSP Perpetual na po. Okay, next please. Okay, so these are some of the licenses naman available sa CSPP. So as you can see, um, very similar lang siya kung ano yung mga licenses na na-acquire niya sa OLP kasi technically ito naman talaga yung kapalit ni OLP, no? si CSPP. So of course, another the desktop tools, na dyan pa din po of course yung productivity tools or yung inclusions po ng Office Standard and Office Pro Plus, the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. And then of course, yung Microsoft Project and Microsoft Visio and ano pa ba? Uh, and and the other licenses pa available sa ano sa sa desktop tools for the infrastructure server of course yung SQL and Windows Server available din siya through CSPP and then on productivity servers yung Exchange and SharePoint available din siya sa CSPP. Okay, so merong ano question kanina I'll, I'll I'll try to answer that later sir baka may time pa ako ng very light. Okay, so next slide Jordan. Okay, so sharing with you the comparison chart na. So ito yung ating maging go-to chart in terms of comparison between CSP and OLP. Okay? So wait lang. Nasaan siya? 
So for the purchasing agreement, sa CSP, we have this Microsoft Customer Agreement. Sa OLP naman, we have this Open License Agreement. In short, uh, guys, ito yung mga forms na sinesend out namin sa inyo. Basically, uh, dinadaan namin sila sa forms na kailangan yung i-fill out yung mga vital details or mga important information. Basically, ang nakalagay doon sa forms na is kung sino yung contact person, the email address, and the, of course, company name. Alright? So, for software products availability naman, most of the products are in the CSPP already and then all products in open license. So, gradually po, starting last year, or 2018 actually, kasi nag-start sa CSPP, gradually, dinadagdagan na ni Microsoft yung availability ng mga other licenses under CSPP. So, sa ngayon, hindi pa siya buo, pero since nag-announce nag na sila dun sa retirement ng OLP, for sure, lahat din po ng OLP mo pupunta sa CSPP or matatransition to CSPP. And then, yung software assurance availability, uh, ito, ito yung feature sa OLP na hindi nila matatransition to CSP. Alright? So, what happened to those mga customers na may mga software assurance uh, subscription? Okay, so lahat ng SA renewal would be transferred to Open Value Agreement. Okay, so masyado nang maraming contract na binabanggit. If you guys have, kumbaga, further question doon, let me know lang. I will share my contact details later. Okay, so on the pricing for eligible eligible customers, okay, so sa CSPP sa ngayon commercial pa lang, and then eventually for sure, madadagdag na rin doon yung government, education, and non-profit. Okay, so sa channel naman, nabibili nyo before sa OLP, we call them reseller, then reseller to distributor. Ngayon sa CSP program, from indirect reseller or indirect partner, as the distributor, we call ourselves now as indirect provider. Pero kung mas convenient or mas comfortable kayo to call as distributor and reseller, okay pa din po yan. Understood naman sa amin yan. Alright? So, for programmatic volume discount, ang kagindahan sa open license, we don't have nagging of account. So, binibigyan lahat ng opportunity yung mga partners natin to work with you guys. So, no tagging of accounts, lahat binibigyan ng chance na, na maka, makakuha ng deals. And then, siguro, doon na lang talaga tayo magbe-base doon sa pricing or kung gaano ka-competitive or yung services na in-offer nila. Pero sa side ng distributor and yung Microsoft, equal footing po in terms of pricing. Ayan. Gusto ka lang yan i-clear. <laughs> so, in terms of billing naman sa CSP and OLP is actually upfront then Okay, so CSP Perpetual is like OLP. You can have the license in perpetuity. Alright? So, next, Jordan. Okay, so these are the things that you need to know on this transition. Actually, nakita ko yung question kanina ni Sir Diko lang nabasa masyada yung name. What will happen to the OLP? I think yung question niya. Pwede mo bang basahin, Ms. V, for me? Uh, it's, Kasi... from, it's from Jet Boulevard, Sam. What happens uh -huh. to the OLP portal after the said date? Maybe after okay. December 31. Okay. Yung, yung sa OLP, we have this uh, portal called Volume Licensing Service Center. So, yung Velocity portal na yan, sir, uh, you, can, you can have that. You can still have that po. For viewing na lang, sir, doon or pagmamanage doon sa mga uh, na-acquire nyo pong licenses way back. Hindi po siya mawawala. Ang mawawala lang, sir, is the repeat order po. Okay? So, since uh, you acquired OLP and it is perpetual license then, you can have that in perpetuity as mentioned ka kanina. It's just that no repeat orders na if ever na meron, he will transact it to or with the CSP program na po. Alright? So as mentioned, December 31 yung last transacting, I mean last transaction natin ng OLP. Then all software assurance po will be renewed na sa open value program ng Microsoft. And then ano pa bang things to know? So of course, obviously, papatayin na nila si OLP, no additional SKU na siya this year. Actually, wala nang nirelease na new license or SKU for OLP. Okay? Okay, so next, Jordan, please. Ayan, nandiyan na pala siya. So, uh, as our customers, uh, this is your action item, okay? So, you need to contact your preferred indirect partner or reseller, okay? And then, uh, work with your indirect provider, that's us, that's only SI, and then start transacting CSP Perpetual na po. Okay, so next, Jordan, please. 
Okay, so as part of reaction item, you need to call me. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay, so these are my contact details po. Uh, just scan the QR code para makuha nyo po agad yung contact details ko. Okay, so baka pwede ako nga, no? may, may, may question ba dyan sa chat box, Miss V? One or two question pwede kong itake? Or wala uh, naman? Wala naman. Actually, si Ma'am Sess nasagot na yung regarding sa portal. It was Thank so you, Ma'am Sess. proactive dun sa chat box namin. Thank you, Ma'am Sess. Okay, so uh, I will now turn you over to our next presenter, our product manager from the Bulaes, right, to discuss OEM and FPP program naman po. So turning over you, the floor, Ms. Rona de Mesa. Hi. All right. Uh, thank you, Ms. Sam. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Rona de Mesa. I'm the product manager for Microsoft OEM and FPP products. And I'm very happy to share with you other Microsoft licenses that you or we can use in our in all our activities, our daily activities. It could be in school, government, manufacturing, retails. I saw some under hotels, agriculture, and real estate sector. So now let's proceed to COEM. So next slide, please. So we have here uh, Microsoft COEM. So COEM stands for Commercial or Regional Equipment Manufacturer. So this license is full version and can be installed on your new machines or new devices without operating system. So if you have your brand new devices, no wala pang a licensia, this license uh, is can be can be used. So this is non-perpetual and non-transferable. So um, what are the available products under Microsoft COEM? Next slide, please. So product available under COEM is Windows 10. Sure, I think pinaka, um, as of now, we have available item under Windows 10 Pro. Um, Windows 10 Pro Professionals and Windows 10 Home. So basically for Windows 10 Home, this is recommended for, uh, for businesses and technical professionals. And for the Windows 10 Home, this is for consumer or personal use. And like uh, mentioned by Microsoft team, Ms. Dang and Sir Lawrence and Sir Eric, so we have new item, which is a Windows 11. Um, this is gen uh, available in general public by October. And of course, we still have under um, server license, Windows Server 2019. So that is the available license under COEM. Next slide, please. Okay, now um, let's proceed to FPP. So this is another license. Um, FPP stands for a full package product. This is a box, li box license sold by a retail or a resellers, and it can be installed to a new or existing devices. The license is perpetual and non-transferable. So I saw in the chat box, yung mga naghahanap ng perpetual license. This is the license that you can use or install to your devices. Um, next slide, please, for the products available under Office. So, uh, same as the OEM, so si FPP, meron din siyang Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Home, and Server licenses. The difference now is that this is on a box type that you can uh, see this on the retail stores or yung mga uh, accredited reseller or partner ni WSI that they are selling these licenses. Um, this license... Um, is perpetual, as I mentioned, and transferable. In addition, under FPP, next slide, please. We have the office license. So where your favorite office applications like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and other access like publishers, you can found here under FPP products. So uh, for office, so we have Office 2019 Home and Student are recommended for home use and student use. And for the businesses, we have Office 2019 Home and Business 2019. We also have the Microsoft 365 or M365, like personal, family, and business standard. So a lot of choices that you can consider in buying licenses that suits for your business or for your industries. And that's all for Microsoft license under COEM and FPP. If you have any questions regarding this product, you may always email or approach our branches, or I will uh, put my contact details on our chat box so you can always approach us. That's all. Uh, I will now turn you over to Ms. Mildred to further give you details on the Microsoft ESD product. Thank you, Ms. Mildred. 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 Thank
Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Maayong bunta, ganyang tanan. So, I'm Mildred Estoesta. I'm the Senior Product Specialist for Microsoft ESD. So, our topic for today is, it's time to go digital with Microsoft ESD. So, first, um, ano ba yung pumapasok sa isip niyo? What comes in your mind when you heard digital or going digital? Please type in to your chat box kung ano yung mga thoughts natin about digital. Pero bigyan ko muna kayo ng example. Ano ba yung mga digital na ng uh, dating traditional na ngayon digital na? So, we're the likes of watching a movie. Now, digital na. Nakakapanood na tayo from our mobile phone, tablets, computers, at home, and with the likes of Netflix, View, iFlix, and YouTube, nakakapanood na tayo digitally. So, what's the music? Meron na din tayong Spotify, di ba? Napapakinggan natin to any devices. So, so was Microsoft. So, Microsoft take part of the digital revolution. That's why they created Microsoft Electronic Software Distribution. Next slide, please. Kindly watch this short video para mas may idea tayo about this. Want to listen? We live in a world of instant. Want to listen to music? Rock on with Spotify. Want to watch a movie? Flick on Netflix. Want to read a book? Amazon's got you covered. Online and instant is key, and that's exactly how Microsoft Electronic Software Delivery, ESD for short, works. Instantly, securely, and direct to your inbox. With Microsoft ESD, you get the exact same content as the box product. So why wait for your software to arrive via the highway? Microsoft ESD is the simplest way for you to instantly acquire software. Gone are the days of waiting around for your next delivery so you can activate your new software. Sick of adding software boxes to your ever overflowing recycling bin? You only need the product key numbers, right? This is why Microsoft ESD products are electronic. The product key is emailed to you, so there's no box to throw away. It also means your capital is safer, with no depreciation and no risk of theft. Order only what you need, when you need it. Literally. Need to add Microsoft Office to your new computer on Christmas Day? No problem. Our automated ordering system means you don't have to wait for business hours for you to place that order. Anytime, anywhere. Provided you have an internet connection, of course. Time is money, so what are you waiting for? In this world of selfies, memes, and hashtags, we still like to speak in person. Contact us today. Okay, so that is Microsoft ESD. When you heard ESD, it's instant. Diba? It's uh, instant via email. So, wala na tayong, sino dito yung ano, mahilig sa free, free shipping, free delivery, no additional cost. We have Microsoft ESD for you. So just like what micro, uh, kung ano yung products din ni FPP, yung usual na binibili natin na nakabox, ito din yung mga products na meron tayo with ESD. So hindi na tayo pupunta ng store, hindi na tayo pupunta ng mall para bumili niyan. Pwede nating bilhin instantly with ESD. So we have here Microsoft 365 license, yung mga subscription license natin. We have personal, family, and also for business, we have business standard. We also have Office 2019. Currently, we have Office 2019, but soon, magiging Office 2021 na rin yan. So we have Office Professional, Home and Business, and Home and Student. So, yan. By the way, Office Professional is exclusively available under Microsoft ESD only. We also have Windows 10, which is by coming next quarter. We have Windows 11 now, Windows 10 Pro, and Windows 10 Home. Also, we have Visual and Project. Next slide, please. So, how to purchase Microsoft ESD nga ba? So, it's a CCS123. So, just contact your authorized Microsoft reseller and then provide your contact details with the likes of name or company name, email address, and contact number. By the way, we will be needing those details kasi doon natin isasend. Since via email na tayo, doon natin isasend yung license na binili natin. And lastly, Receive your license instantly via email. So that's it. 
Just simple as one, two, three. So by the way, with ESD, ano yung kailangan natin i-remember? It's instant. It's a secure digital delivery. It's via email. No shipping free. And no additional cost. So that's simple as ESD. So that's it for my presentation. If you have question, please key in in our chat box. And kung wala na tayong question, turning, I will be turning over you to Miss Gigi. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you, uh, WSI ladies. So if you have questions for WSI team, please uh, uh, type it on our chat box so we can uh, re read through it in a while. In the meantime, we'll be flashing our uh, link and QR code for the feedback form. So please don't forget to answer our feedback form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go through. Okay. So Jordan, let me know if uh, there are already uh, guests who have answered our feedback form. In the meantime, let's I think Lawrence has slowly answered some of your questions. Diba? So let's see kung ano yung na-miss out natin. Uh, I, is, this, is this answered na by Lawrence? Kang Sir Saniel na ay kay Miss Francis Varga? I, uh, I still have previous, I am previously using Windows 10. From clean install of Windows 11, can I check on October once it's available? I think this is regarding uh, compatibility, right? I, IE, uh, in, uh, Internet Explorer. Tama ba, Sir uh, Loren? Yeah, um, hi, Ms. Gigi. Um, yeah, yeah, that question is regarding Internet Explorer. Since I think it was already been announced by Microsoft that by next year we will be retiring Internet Explorer. Yeah. So uh, my current device has that Internet Explorer itself yet since um, from Windows 10, I upgraded, I, I upgraded it into Windows 11. But from fresh install, I haven't checked yet if it will be including pa rin yung Windows, ah, sorry, yung Internet Explorer. Okay. Uh, Gigi, um, is yeah. it okay to flash one slide like the um, minimum requirements? I think I'm seeing yeah, a lot sure. of questions sure. no so that we can clarify that. Jordan, can you go back, I think, um, on the minimum requirement slide? I think most of the questions are on the TPM. Yeah, um, there you go. So basically, this is the official um, Windows 11 minimum requirements. It should be um, compatible to 64-bit processor, 4 gig of RAM, and the storage itself is it should be 64 GB. And in terms of the firmware, um, secure boot capable and UEFI and TPM 2.0. So the current um, information is it should be TPM 2.0. So TPM 2.1, sorry, 1.2 version. If you have that, you can install and in or upgrade um, Windows 11. But there is a way uh, for new for devices na well, bago pala mga three years ago na na purchase po. And for consumer po na mga devices na walang built in a T the TPM 2.0, you can double check it on your manufacturer, like if they have this um, firmware type. So you, you can um, check that and enable that in the BIOS itself or on the UEFI. Or for nakap TPM 1.2 po kayo, you can download po the firmware to upgrade to 2.0. But the advice is for to install Windows 11, it should be TPM 2.0 po yung firmware po niya. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Lauren. Uh, I see a hand raised by Miss Cherry. Miss Cherry, what is your question? Ma'am? Hello, Miss Cherry. There is also one from Mr. Joven. Sir, yes, please unmute yourself so you can uh, tell us what your question is. Cherry Love from uh, 
Santa Lucia. Miss Cherry Love, are you still here in the? Okay. What about Sir Joven? Sir? Okay. Okay, so while waiting for them, reminder on the feedback form, please. Uh, Sir Janus from Indra here has a question. I think this is uh, for the Microsoft team. Where to find the TPM version? Okay, so to find for the TPM ver version, um, um, you can actually go to Windows Security and under Devices. Or just type um, uh, on the search bar itself the TPM, and if you have that um, version, it will give you the details um, under security processor. So it give you the the. Let me just share, mom, the screen. Can I share the screen? You are done. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. So um, there you go. Here, so. The fastest way is go to search bar, type TPM, and it will uh, like, for example, here it, it will bring you here on the device security and under device security, you will find the security processor and you will find here the version of your TPM. It's 2.0. There is an, another one, but that's too technical. That's um, a command that you can run on the um, command prop. OK. OK. So, nag acknowledge na si Sir Joven of si Miss Cherry. So, no questions naman so far. Okay. So, Jordan, how are we with the feedback form? Any more questions, uh, dear guest, for WSI and Microsoft team? Anyway, if you have questions, so, basin later, baka remember mo nga naade may question. So feel free to get in touch with WSI Cebu or WSI Davao para we can hook you up kung kinsan na mga uh, personalities din he ang dapat mo uh, answer sa ato ang at sa inyong questions. So okay na ta, wala na tayong mga questions. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for participating on our activity today. Thank you so much. We hope we help you fully know how Windows 11 and Office 2021 can help our business grow, especially in our current uh, work setups. So again, if you want to know more about Windows 11, Office 2021, uh, CSPP, CSPP, ESD, OEM, and FPP, just send us an email and then we'll get back to you. That's it for our activity for today. On behalf of WSI and Microsoft, I would like to thank you for joining us. So, see you again in our next activities. Bismin, salamat kaayo. Amping tanan. Okay? One more day. It's going to be a weekend na. Amping. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.